<laughs> Farm dog. <laughs> Guys, don't try this at home. This is dangerous. My! <laughs> Are you bagging? Ah! I'm helping! Let it out! Let's go to the yard! To the barn! All of this is going to be a barn! Hey, fam! Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome! How are you guys? I'm really excited about this video. I feel like it's been a long time coming before I've been able to say something about this. And obviously you guys know what we're talking about in the title. Um, because we have now lived at the new house for like close to four months. And I've been telling you guys for a very long time that we are getting a barn, we're building a barn, and the time is coming now. So I'm super excited. There is gonna be a chicken coyote update. A ton of you guys keep asking me about that, so I am bringing you guys an update in this video. So just keep on watching so you guys can see the update on that. And everything else that has been happening here um, at the farm, there's some really exciting things, and I'm so excited. These next couple weeks are so exciting, and I'm really trying, you guys, for the month of August to post like every other day. Um, I'm really trying, don't hold me to that, because we have so much going on that I'm hoping I can post every other day, but I wanna keep you guys in the loop the whole time. So I'm really trying. If you guys want me to do every other day post, let me know in the comments if that's too much. Also, let me know in the comments. But anyways, I need to stop rambling. Let's get in to this video. Bama, Bama, what's wrong with your ear? Let's fix your ear. <gasps> guys, look at this huge stick that they are trying to play with. This is like the whole tree. Ready, Lex? Here's the stick. I cannot throw this, there's no way. There's no way. I think it broke my back. <laughs> it's a whole tree. She loves sticks, look at this. She's like the happiest dog in the world. Bama! And you guys keep asking if Bama's still here. Bama is still here. Bama. Still here being a very good boy. Bama. And Pignelli, Pinelli. All right, you guys. As you can see, hey, Mike. Hey. <laughs> okay, so, like you guys can see in the title, no piglet, stay, stay. So I'm going out this one gate. So this is the view outside of this fence that I don't think you guys have seen yet. And if we zoom in over there, we see in the jungle, a cat right here, and Dommy over there. So, this fence is one of the first preparations that we are doing for the barn. So this is a brand new fence. We have the top board and the bottom board on. So I'm super excited about this, and I'll kind of show you guys why. This is a big prep, and here we have a little follower who's probably gonna come out of this gate. Bama, stay in there. <laughs> Bama, he knows he can get out of here. This is the fence, and here he comes. Bama! Bama, no! And Mike is working on the other part of prepping for the barn, and Bama likes to go underneath there. And let's see, he hasn't done this since he was a little baby. He might be a little bit too big to fit. Scoop him! Do not let him out! <laughs> He is learning how to be a farm dog, seriously. He is not afraid of anything. So anyways, back to my fence of our first preparation of the barn. So we had to make this fence and obviously we're still working on it. Um, we're gonna do a three board. So we have the bottom and the top. We have our hog wire on there so dogs and piggy um, don't escape. So this is what it's looking like. So if we remember, this was all dog pasture here, and then it was all fenced out to over there. We are taking down this fence, because we have been in the process of putting this fence up. So Mike is on the tractor, and he's going to just pull up. And all of the posts are out. So this whole thing was dog, but now we have this right here. That is not dog, except there's a dog over here. Hmm, Bama, not good. <laughs> so right here where this feed shed is, we're knocking the feed shed down. 
So that's why we put this fence here with this gate that I really love. Miley, are you eating some of the scrap wood? <laughs> Look at her. And so I love this gate. So this is just tractor supply gate, but we have this gate so that cows and pig over there, if we ever needed to transport them through here, it'd be easy like this. And we have my favorite gate latches. I've talked to you guys about these. These are my favorite Amazon gate latches. If you guys don't have these, I suggest getting them. They're from Amazon. I have them linked in the description down below, but look how easy they are. I love these. I get the double latched ones. So either this way, and then if you just slam them hard and they're locked, literally locked. Or if I wanted to come this way and then close it. Or wait here, let me do a better demonstration. <laughs> here we go. Boom, okay. So I just love these. So we're in the process of changing them all out. I'm super excited about that. And with these gate latches, it's just so exciting because at the old house, all of my gate latches were like that. So it was super convenient. And then moving to this house without gate latches like that, we have two of them, but they're like really rusty. They're from the previous owner. Um, I still love them, but they're super rusty. So it's not the same at the old house. It was so simple to just, and I just really loved it. So feeling a little bit more normal now that we have even just another um, gate latch. So I'm super excited about that. You know, it's the little things um, when your routine's knocked out of place, but Moving on. So this fence, all right here, keeps the dogs in. So now that we got that, I'm super excited because that was our first step in this process of building the barn. So we had to get that done. So why we had to do that is because like I said, we're removing the feed shed. Now this is where the feed shed is. And like you guys saw, this right here got ripped down. So now this is open. So now this will be kind of like a driveway and then we can drive right out to the front face of the barn. Now this is the feed shed and I want to show you guys. We drove up three hours um, up north the other day sorry, to get hay. And this is like the most beautiful sight as a horse owner. This is all bales of alfalfa and it was such a good deal. We brought back 75 bales of alfalfa in our bumper pull horse trailer and we got 50 bales so this was you know, 50 bales was obviously, we've used a bunch, um, but we gave our friends the other 25. So literally so much hay. We won't have to buy hay for a couple months. And with the barn coming soon, as you guys can tell, um, we're gonna have to take all of this hay and move it to the barn, but I'm super excited because it's gonna be like in a air conditioned um, room, like a feed room, and this whole, <laughs> feed shed has to be cleaned out and I know you guys from a really old video you guys told me to clean my feed shed out but I was like kind of like realistically waiting because I didn't have to do double work because I knew we were going to move it all into the barn but obviously with the virus and everything like that things have been pushed back a bit so that's why it's taken a lot longer to get our barn so if you guys want to see me cleaning out this feed shed and um like organizing it let me know because we were actually like tearing it all down and one of the reasons why we're tearing it down is as you can see we have this blue tarp so we literally just threw this blue tarp on, on the roof and we like stuck it up there with bricks because it leaks. There's like so many holes in the top of it from like past screws that they've unscrewed and stuff like that and it's just like rotting um, metal. Like it's really rusty as you can see. So um, it served its purpose. Um, it's actually a really big shed and it kind of sucks to see it go but it's not in good shape anymore and we had to put that up there because we didn't want the hay to get wet and get um, moldy because we are in rainy season. So the shed will be torn down. So if you guys wanna see me clean out the shed um, and us tearing this down, let me know in the comments cause that'll be fun. And then the next process, which is what we're doing right now, which I'm super excited about, is Mike's out there on the tractor. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we recently got a tractor. Um, Mike really wanted a tractor at the old house, but um, we just didn't have a big enough property in my eyes to really need this. And we had so many friends nearby that always let us borrow their tractor. So. Mike's like lifelong dream, wanted a tractor, so got a tractor. And as you guys can see where all this dirt is, is where the barn is gonna go. And seeing it laid out like this, this barn is going to be massive. So right here is this first stick. And I'm gonna walk out there and show you guys the other sticks. But um, pretty much all this dirt right here, he's scraping up all like the sod, so all the grass, because this coming week, so when I post this, um, the next following day, the foundation is getting built. So this is what we are doing. We have prep for now. We have the fence and we are digging up the ground. This is like, oh my gosh, so surreal because I would never dig up 
grass. When you have horses, you know you cherish grass. I would never dig up grass like I'm saying. And we have waited for this and I have never been so happy to see grass getting dug up because that means like the barn's gonna go there. So he is removing all the sods so that the company that comes in and um, does the foundation doesn't need to do that because we're kind of like on a time crunch because we're hoping then the following the barn gets here. They have a weird schedule because they're actually in North Carolina. So with the rain and their crews and stuff like that, we have to have like everything ready right when they say go. So hopefully I don't make this and then like they push the barn back because right now they're not supposed to be pushing the barn back. Um, it's supposed to be like in the next week and a half. So I'm super excited. So I'm gonna go out there and show you guys the barn because seeing it now and like on the ground, it's gonna be huge and I'm so excited. Triggy, are you ready for your big barn? I'm so ready for it too. Okay, so like I was saying, I did make sure that I was right. It's 36 by 48, but then the roof is like by 49 because there's like obviously um, the overhang of the roof. So right now I'm standing on where the barn will be. Ah, so right now I'm in the alleyway of the barn. <laughs> so let me show you. This whole fence right here, that's just like a really junky fence that obviously came with the house. It's just barbed wire. We're actually gonna be taking it all down and it's gonna look like our new fence. Um, so that'll look really nice. But basically right now we're standing in the alleyway. So for reference, let's talk this post right here past the tree. We actually need to take that tree out too. I think we're gonna do that now. This will stay here with this little gate. This post right here, let's just say like that's the end of the one side of the barn. And then let's just say like 12 feet. And then this is like the alleyway. And then let's say that post over there is like the other end of the barn, if that kind of makes sense. I'm trying to make this make sense um, on camera. But if we see the ground, it's so exciting. Mike is just scraping it up. So now, let's see. And then the barn is actually going to be like flush with this fence, if that makes sense. Um, I know it's a little hard, but <laughs> I'll try to make it make sense soon. So right here, post one, all the way down to there and then all the way over there and then all the way to that tree so now let's walk it <laughs> so post one we're going this way all the way over here we're like walking in stalls right now super neat <laughs> all the way out here and then down to here Still walking, so now I'm like walking at the back of the barn here and then straight over there by X. So, all this area is the barn. I'm so excited, it's like super surreal. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> this side, three stalls, alleyway, three stalls. Front up here will be like storage for like the tractor and stuff, and then the three stalls, three stalls, and then. And right here will be our air conditioned um, feed and tack room. It's like a 12 by 12 room. And then on this side, um, outside of the barn, I'll have my wash rack right here. And then this, there'll be like a man door here. And then right here, <laughs> this is getting confusing, is going to be um, a huge like roll down garage door almost. And you guys know how Trigger's like the alpha in my pasture. We always talk about that. He's super triggered all the time. He's super snooty. Um, and then you guys saw my last video. If you didn't, I'm assuming you did. Um, you guys saw how Cash was acting towards Trigger. We are definitely noticing that Cash is ranking higher these days in the pecking order and is giving Trigger a run for his money and we definitely think that in the future when Cash is no longer a baby, he may, good chance, end up being the alpha. Because today we were even observing that um, Cash came up while Trigger was eating hay. Trigger kicked everybody else away and Cash said no, and they shared um, hay today. So we are definitely like <laughs> evaluating that dynamic. It's pretty interesting because Trigger has such a big personality. So I thought that was pretty funny. This is our friend. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guys, don't tell us at home. This is dangerous. My! <laughs> He probably didn't know that. <laughs> oh, I fell on the ground. Dang it. I want to go in the bucket. I'm in the bucket. Now, let's see if Mike does anything stupid. We're going up. Nothing stupid. Ah! Hello. Ah! 
I'm helping line out the yard for the barn. Not caring at all about the tractor. This is what I'm saying. He's just so fearless and funny. What's that, Cash? <laughs> what is that? The tractor. Oh, now you got scared. <laughs> it's taller than you. It's gonna eat you. And Moose is out again. He always thinks we're doing things without him. All right, you guys. So it's time to take down the tree. We need to get out of this pasture, and I had to catch a ride before my left me. The tour of the farm. Ah! I am losing my balance. Oh boy. Hi, Mike. Hello. Now I gotta get this little gate. It's tree time, y'all. Gamma, go up there! So, my first Gamma. Where, what are you gonna do with him? <laughs> Farm dog. Yay! This was the third step in getting the barn. The tree is down, easy peasy. Good job, Gamma! Bama, you knocked the tree down! Good boy! The tree is gone. And the land is ready for the dirt. So like I said, the dirt will be here tomorrow. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. All of this is going to be a barn. So, this is day two or three, I guess, of prep before the barn gets here because this took us like two days and then this is day three um, and then day four will be literally tomorrow after you guys see this of the foundation i'm so excited guys if you are excited for the barn to be built make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now i want to see how many of you guys are excited all right you guys so before i go inside because we are pretty much done with barn prep for today I'm gonna go inside and show you guys barbecue, the chicken that got attacked by a coyote. But I just saw Domino again, and I, we both actually just scared each other. <laughs> but here he is. He's the cutest boy ever. Okay, let's go inside and check on the chicken. So I'm in the bathroom here with barbecue. You guys have been asking for this update. Um, you guys actually write me all the time on, no matter the video, how she's doing. Um, and overall, she is alive. She's still recovering. Um, I wouldn't say we were out of the clear yet because she still has a big open wound on her back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. This is a little disclaimer. It's not bloody or anything like that. It's not even really like gory, um, but it is a wound. So if you get kind of like heaved out by things like this, um, just know you may not want to watch it. Um, but it's really not that bad. Barbecue! All right, you guys, here she is. She's actually doing really well as far as like her personality coming back. Um, she's been making a lot of noise inside this bathroom, so we hear her a lot now. She talks a lot. Um, here she is, she's just chilling. Um, and here's the wound. So as you guys can see, I just washed my hands because I don't want um, you know, ever get anything dirty in her wound. But as you can see, it's like scabbed up right here. Obviously it doesn't look like skin, but it is scabbed up. Um, it's not like that flesh anymore. Um, it does have some interesting like coloring to it, but I don't think like nothing's like oozing or looking like super nasty. Obviously this was a huge wound, so it's going through its course of the healing process. So she's just hanging out though. She walks around a lot more now um, from the beginning, but she's still here. You guys, like I said, always ask about her. So she's here. We are completely not out of the woods yet just because you know, anything can go wrong. We're just making sure that no infection happens. Um, cause that's really the biggest thing now. So, I wanna show you guys, let's switch her around. So, that skin flap, um, that was hanging, um, we actually did cut it. So, um, it was completely dead, there was literally no sensation in it. So, she didn't feel a thing. So 
So as you can see, it was here. So this is all just gonna heal. I don't really know exactly how this is gonna heal here. Um, it's pretty interesting, but at least she doesn't have that hanging flap anymore. And her feathers are kind of just like, obviously you can see where we had to cut them off. And then right here again, this is all closed up and scabbing. We're not sure if she'll even get like feathers back here again and that's fine. Like I don't really care as long as she lives. Um, but yeah, this is her. She's doing good. She's a really sweet chicken. So she's just kind of hanging out. I really hope she makes a full recovery. As you can see like now, like if you look at it, it doesn't even look like terrible because the other feathers have started to grow back. Just hanging out and I just clipped um, some of her feathers around the wound. So if you see right here, just so it stayed pretty clean. So we're gonna go ahead and clean her again. And a lot of you guys were a little bit confused because I showed this Myers bottle in my video of us cleaning it. This is just an old cleaner bottle that I cleaned out and put the solution the cleaner in just so you guys know I'm not spraying her with Myers. Um, but we're still just spraying her. So we will just spray like this and then under here and it's just good to go. And this solution has been working really well for her. Look at her, hi, barbecue, pretty girl. She's been eating a lot more and look at her, she's even grooming herself. She's been eating a lot more, drinking a lot of water. She's really getting back to her um, same self as far as her personality goes. This is what she does, hangs out. I hope I just caught that on camera. She just fluffed her wings up like as if she was outside. Just grooming away being the chicken that she is. What are you doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right you guys, so that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I'm so excited. We have pretty much broken ground for the barn. So it should be the next couple weeks. Like I said, August has a lot in store for us. So make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't miss any of those videos. And let me know in the comments um, what you guys think about me trying to post every other day. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to be possible. I'm going to try. But if that's too much for you guys, definitely let me know. If that's what you guys think I should do, of course, let me know. But yeah, so that's our update on the barn. It's coming very soon. We are in preparation mode, getting everything ready. Um, so the barn is smooth sailing once it's here. And an update on barbecue that you guys have been asking for. I'm very happy that she is alive and well, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys like this video, if you guys are super happy that we are breaking ground on the barn, or just super happy that Barbecue is alive and doing really well, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on that post notification so you have a chance to be my next post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to... Alright you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.